not like anywhere else that I've seen in London. The new transport links make it really accessible. There's a cluster around here, exactly the kinds of organisations that we need to collaborate with. To be in a location that is uh, both a, a tech hub and also uh, Canary Wharf being the life sciences hub as well makes perfect sense. It definitely goes beyond just an environment that I want to work with. It's actually uh, very family friendly as well. Canary Wharf's got an amazing history. When Canary Wharf started, there was really no Class A office space in, in the city of London. Canary Wharf were pioneers and had mostly all 100% financial firms that came here to take advantage of this amazing estate and infrastructure. I like to say that we're on Canary Wharf 3.0. 1.0 started when the estate was created with uh, initial transportation links. 2.0 actually started eight years ago when Canary Wharf Group acquired Wood Wharf, the east portion of the estate, and then they started developing residential. And that's the first time that you could actually live on the estate. Three years ago, we started on Canary Wharf 3.0 with places where you can live, work, and play. It's got a host of amenities from open water swimming to playing on paddle to go-karts to go-boats. And now we've created a great partnership with the Eden Project to bring biodiversity to the estate. We have a million square feet of retail, less than 3% vacancy. Now, in the last two years, with the opening of the Elizabeth Line, we really have become a true destination. We've got a growing residential population, over 3,500 residents, and we expect that to double in the next few years. As Canary Wharf Group did in creating a cluster in the financial services industry, we're doing the same in the health life sciences industry. We've just recently added 40,000 square feet, London's largest wet lab space. Last year, we had over 54 million people visiting Canary Wharf. And that goes to the vitality area because we've got office workers here, we've got residents here, and now we've got people that come here as a destination. It's also affected not only in our traffic, which is the highest ever, but in our sales, where we're now exceeding 2019 levels on a same store basis. What psychs me about Canary Wharf is that we were pioneers 35 years ago in building this great estate, but we're now pioneers again in creating that true mixed-use neighborhood. A lot of people talk about a 15-minute city. It exists here now. And the beauty of Canary Wharf Group is that we manage this entire estate. And so we've got the ability to curate this over time and continue to add to make it a vibrant neighborhood.